Today should be a pretty light install, but I've said stuff like that before. There is only about four more things the Civic needs before it is driving. And that is to burp the coolant system because we really didn't get to do that because I can't keep the car neutral. We need to put wheels on the car. I need to put the shift linkage in and I need to figure out the throttle body throttle body situation. But we're that, that's all we have to do, which is like easy stuff. And we gotta clean it up a bit because it's just tools and it's a mess. What is going on guys? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. So as I just said, we are getting very close to being able to drive this car. And if you guys watched my last video, or I don't know how many videos ago it was now, about the, the BRZ, before that goes in the shop for any sort of repairs or anything, it'd be kind of nice if I can get this car driving so I can drive something to work. But today we are going to be installing the Innovative Mounts shift linkage, and hopefully it's an easy install. I've done this before with an OEM one, and it's gonna be the same thing. So the main reason I can't do my entire cooling system is because right now the car is in gear, and instead of just going in there and fiddling around trying to find neutral, I'd rather see the whole shift linkage and that way the, I, I know that the car is in neutral and I know it shifts right. So we can do that today, hopefully everything goes smooth, but you know how this channel goes. So we're gonna start buttoning all that up. I got all my parts from Honda and it took three months to get them all, but we got all the bolts and stuff, so let's get started. The first thing we gotta do is install the shifter. And I have this adjustable short shifter I got, and I got that from CZ Mate. So check his YouTube channel out, check his Instagram out, check him out. He sent that to me, great supporter of the channel. It also makes great Honda content. So make sure you guys check him out. Pretty much you just gotta put the little plastic cradle on. And they sent me two shift boots for whatever reason. So I don't know, I think they just like to try stealing my money. So just gotta get this boot on, if, it doesn't, if I can get it on, and then put some plates on and the shifter is already in. The shifter's not a hard install. It's just annoying that you have to do it like outside of the car, but won't be too bad. Now the fun part begins. So the shifter is on and I'm only leaving this part on for now because I can do the rest of it from the top of the car for adjustment purposes. So we gotta get under the car and actually throw her in now. This is one of those installs I have no clue how am I even gonna show how to do it because I got it under the car and everything. But I got a new bushing kit just off of Amazon so I put the new bushings on, got the bolts and just bolted up to where it should be. Again, pretty hard to record, but everything is in except for this little pin right here, which is dubbed the bitch pin, and I see why, because it is very hard to uh, get in there, and I think I need to like clamp it down before I can actually get it in. So just gotta squeeze that in, tighten down the actual, um, the one linkage to the other linkage, and then we should all be good to go here. Overall, it's a very easy install to do. You just have to know where to put a few things, but it's only a couple bolts, so it's not the worst thing in the world. So I'm hoping that all you gotta do is like, squeeze this, or maybe I gotta hammer it in. I don't know, this pin might give me some trouble, so that's the last thing we gotta do though. Learned a valuable lesson today. Whoever coined it the bitch pin, they weren't lying. That thing was really hard to get in. A lot of hammering, a lot of perseverance. We eventually got it in, but now we just have to put the clip on, and she's all good to go, but the problem is I don't remember where I put that clip, so I gotta find that first. Now we just gotta put this bad boy on and tighten her up. I think I do have a shift knob somewhere for this, but since I kinda just throw all my car parts in here, I don't know where it's at. I'll find it later, but we should be able to shift now. Yep, I hope I did everything right here. So first, second, third, fourth. That should... I definitely gotta play around with it a little bit. Now that my head feels 10 times lighter, it should be in neutral now. I'm not feeling fifth gear at all, but we're gonna try starting her up and seeing if everything is correct. Because right now the axle should be turning when I start it, so.
something definitely isn't right here because the car should be in neutral, but my axles are still turning. So that's definitely first, no, no doubt. And that, this should be neutral. A lot of play, that's definitely neutral. But when you start the car, Something's not right. Apparently that is normal when there's no load on the car, they'll still move because it's moving with everything. So I guess we can uh, start her and we'll just watch and see if my fans ever kick on for like 10 minutes because I'm not sure if my thermostat is good or not. This thing is so loud. So it was just leaking a considerable amount of transmission fluid out and um, I consulted one of my buddies and he said that try putting a washer at the end of the shift linkage and it should stop that issue. So it did, again, you always take, the, I always take five steps back when I do one thing to this car. So hopefully we're good here now. I'm gonna try it again and see if there's any more leaks. So we are leaking a considerable amount still, and I have no clue why. You can see that it looked like it was, it shot it out. So my first assumption is the axle seal, but my axle seals should be all pretty solid. See my axles here. I feel like it's been disappointment after disappointment lately with this car. And then I'm going through the stuff with my BRZ disappointment too. So just cars aren't working in my favor right now. So we got the shift linkage in. Now we're having transmission issues and I can't get into fifth gear regardless. So I don't know if I need a new transmission or if I did something wrong and I don't believe I did anything wrong. The fact that I can't get into fifth gear and it's throwing fluid everywhere is making me believe that I didn't do anything wrong and it's something with the transmission and something inside of it. I might have to call a guy out here to help me out because I know a few people have done these swabs before that might be able to help me. But right now I'm just <laughs> mentally not doing so hot. And just the way everything is dripping, it seems to be coming from the top almost. But my seals look fine and everything's wet because this one line was shooting fluid. So I did cover it. So I'm, just a, I'm just so lost right now. I should just quit cars and get a new hobby. This sucks. So after a few days of like thinking and asking around and looking at solutions, I think I found out why we're actually leaking and it's something I have said in previous videos before and I'm, I, I guess I wasn't really fully informed of the problem. So the reason it's spitting out is because my axle seals in the transmission itself are probably bad. I never changed them out originally and I definitely should have. But you know, we never did. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to change up my axle seals. So I gotta take off all my suspension again, just to put my axles back in properly and get them seated in a new seal so they don't leak anymore. That should be an issue, the, the issue that fixes all my transmission leaking. So we'll have to drain all that and refill it and everything too. The second thing, I think my thermostat might be bad on this because we were idling for maybe five minutes and the fans never kicked on. So we we'll are probably have to make a workaround because I don't think I'm actually getting a proper leak test of my coolant because it doesn't seem to be going down at all because I don't think it's filtering through the whole system. So we're gonna have to figure out the thermostat. We gotta do the axle seals. I don't have fifth gear for whatever reason. It looks like I have reverse, but fifth gear doesn't seem to be existent and I don't know why. So there might be a transmission issue that we do have later on down the road. I might need a new trans eventually, maybe not. Maybe just, I just gotta, fiddle with the shifter and something like that but we're getting there so these last two civic videos have been like depressing because like I get all this stuff done and like nothing's working but I'm trying to stay as motivated as possible so I haven't got I even got the hoodie on so we're gonna try to do some things but I'm gonna leave you guys off here so comment like subscribe keep doing the fun stuff keep doing you stay motivated Catch you guys next time peace out and peace